up the sleeves for this one because uh, it's time to get down to work. Someone once commented on the sleeves, like priest sleeves, apparently they have a big gap. And so there's this big like puffy thing in your forearms. I didn't ever realize that, but someone pointed it out. They said they hate it. And I was like, wow, I never noticed, but now I do. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz and this is Ascension Presents. So uh, recently someone had asked me the question. They said, how do you give God everything? Because, they, which is a really great question, because, you know, we hear stories in the Bible about, uh, here's Jesus who comes to the rich young man and he, the rich young man asks the question, um, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus says, you know, the commandments, what are they? And the rich young man says, well, here they are. And I've, I've kept all of them from my youth. And Jesus says, you're looking at him, loved him and says, you lack one thing, go sell what you have, give it to the poor and then come follow me. Um, and the, he, the rich man, young man goes away sad because he had many possessions, right? His, his stuff owned him. He didn't own his stuff, that kind of situation. Other stories as well, uh, you know, Peter and uh, Andrew, James and John, Jesus calls them and they leave their nets and their fishing and their boats and their father and they leave everything and they follow Jesus. And then we hear stories of saints. I mean, there's some incredible saints. St. Francis of Assisi, who like, you know, stripped himself completely naked in the town square of Assisi, handed his stuff over to his father and said, listen, uh, no longer will I say Pietro Bernardone, his biological father is my father. From now on, I'll only say our father who art in heaven, like just basically gives everything away. St. Anthony of Egypt is another example where apparently as a young man, he walks into the church as they're, as they're proclaiming the gospel and he hears that if you desire to be perfect, go sell what you have, give to the poor, then come follow me. And he's like, okay, and he just goes and does it. And so we have all of these and like thousands of others, right? All of these saints, all these incredible people who have literally done that. They've given everything away in order to follow Jesus. And so this person was asking me, they said, so, I mean, I have a family and I have responsibilities. I have this job that I support my family with. And I, how do I give everything to follow after Jesus? Like, how do I follow Jesus with everything I have? How do I give everything away? And I thought that is a remarkable question. They're different questions. How do I follow Jesus with everything versus how do I give everything away? Those are two different things. How do I give everything away? Well, you have to ask the question, is Jesus calling you to give everything away? Remember that there are people in the scriptures that Jesus did call and say, go sell what you have, give to the poor, then come follow me. There's others that we have no record that that's what he asked them to do. That when he asked them to follow him, he didn't say, go divest yourself of everything you have and then come follow me. He just said, follow me, or they just started following him. And so we don't necessarily have a blanket statement of every single Christian, every single follower of Jesus has to give everything away. But every single follower of Jesus has to give him everything. This is the key distinction. Not every follower of Jesus has to give everything away, but every follower of Jesus has to give him everything. That's the difference. So the question I get to ask is, okay, is Jesus calling me to give away everything? Because he might be, that might be there. But remember, God always speaks in clarity. If it's kind of like this, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, wait until he's spoken in clarity and then act. Get that? Okay. But God is asking you, he is inviting you to give him everything. And what that means in many ways is um, you're giving him access to everything. So I look at my stuff, I look at my bank account, I look at uh, the things that I own, I look at my relationships, this one, I look at my calendar and I say, okay, God, it's all yours. If you want me to do something with what's in my bank account, I'm open, it's yours. I'm gonna actually start shifting my mindset from being, this is my stuff to God, this is yours. How do you want me to steward it? We have another video on stewarding versus owning. But that's kind of the mentality, right? Okay, God, you're the steward of this. It's yours. How do you want me to manage it? Same thing when it comes to our stuff. And I'm going to buy a new car. Okay, do you have any direction when it comes to what kind of car you want me to have? It, you might have none. You might have none. You might just say, yeah, go whatever car you want. I love you. It could be like, okay, that's the one you want. I remember Pope Francis saying this at one point. That's the one you want here, this, you know, S class. Get one class lower. You know, that kind of that sense of like, here's the, uh, all the bells and whistles that you ever possibly could want. Okay, get the one just a slightly less than perfect. Just kind of a, as, a, as an act of self-denial. You don't have to, but it's one of the ways you can exercise this sense of, okay, God, it's all yours. I'm giving it all to you. So my bank account, God, it's yours. How do you want me to manage this bank account? And he might want you to manage the bank account by saying, okay, invest for your children. 
I know some people who have said like, no, my children have special needs. And so one of the things, one of the ways I need to manage this account, one of the ways I need to manage my money is so that when I'm gone and their other parent is gone, they're taken care of. Like that is really not only smart, that's only wise, that's incredibly loving. So I'm managing this account, God, because it's yours. I'm managing my stuff, God, because it's yours. And even, gosh, when it comes back down to this, my calendar, looking at my day, saying, yep, I have to go to work because that's what I do. Like, that's how I take care of my family. That's how I'm moving forward in this world. That's how I'm contributing to uh, being a productive member of society. Wonderful. But God, each hour is yours. Each breath is yours. Where do you want me to spend it? How do you want me to spend it? My free time. How do you want me? What do you want me to do with it? Because it's yours. I don't just give everything away, but I give it all to him. And again, if that, if that seems too big, if that seems too confusing, if it seems like that's a whole life, I would get really, really specific. Not just, okay, here's my, my bank account. It's actually God's. I'm managing it for him. Here's my, my time. Here's my stuff. But even asking the question, okay, God, right now, right now, how can I give you this moment? You know, we've said it this many, many times. You can't change your past and you can't know your future. We have an unchangeable past and we have an un knowable future. All we have is this moment right now, this present moment. So therefore, this is the only moment that I can actually give to God. Now, in some ways, I can entrust my past to God. Yep, say, God, that's yours. Um, do please bring good out of that past. And I can also entrust the future to God. Say, God, I know you're going to be there. I trust you. I have hope in you. But right now in this moment, that's the only moment I can give to God and actively give to God. And so that's the thing. It's like, how do I give God everything? Give him this moment. Like, that's it. Sometimes we make it so complicated to follow Christ. God, how do I give God everything? Well, the only thing you have right now, really, truly, is this moment. So give God this moment. How do you do that? Here's the last thing. Well, I would say it like this. I realize it's his. Just like my bank account, it's his money. I'm stewarding it. How do you want me to manage your money? I'm a money manager for God. My stuff... God is yours. My time is yours. This moment, God, this moment is yours. How do you want me to manage this moment? How do you, what do you want to do? I'm going to practice the presence of God. Brother Lawrence of the resurrection said, every, any given moment, every given moment, God is present to you. Are you present to him? How do I give God everything? Give him this moment in the sense of just saying, God, you're here. This is your moment. I give it to you. And the more and more we give God each individual moment, those individual moments add up and they become an entire life. How do I give my whole life to God? By giving him each individual moment. It's relatively simple. It is not impossible. At times, some moments might be painful, but other moments will be incredibly joyful. And at the end of our lives, we'll realize, I just live my life. I just, I just live my life for God. I just gave him everything because I only, all, all I had to do was give him what, I, what he asked for on a moment-to-moment basis. And that's how we give God everything. Anyways, from all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.